we also want to explore some of the functionalities that the oscilloscope has. One of the things that you'll do is have to make a measurement on the phase difference between uh, two waveforms or the peak voltage. And what we want to do is we don't want to just guess just by looking at the screen. We want to actually have a more quantifiable method of doing that. So what I do here in this wave inspector section of the oscilloscope, I hit measure and add measurement. Now I have two options here. It's telling me that this knob here, knob A, will control the source and knob B, multipurpose B, will control the measurement type. So say first I want to know what the max voltage is for source 1, channel 1. So I have source 1 selected and then I'm going to scroll to the measurement type that I want. Uh, we'll hit max voltage and I'll say OK, add measurement. Turns out that maybe I want that for source two as well. So I change my source, now it's gone to source two, and I hit OK, add measurement again. There's some other measurement types maybe we want. Maybe we want to measure the phase. So here, it's actually a little bit different. It's telling me source two, measurement type phase, to phase two. I want to change that to source one, and now I have phase measurement. The way it's going to do this, it's going to say, the phase measurement between source one and two. So I hit OK, let's add that measurement. Now, when I hit measure again, that overlay disappears and I'm left with my the measurements that I want. The phase difference between uh, one and two, the max voltages for each, and there's some additional information, but that's the basic uh, way you would add a measurement. Another thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to know the voltages uh, for very specific time increments. And what I can do there is I can hit cursors. And what I get are two cursors here. I get an A, which corresponds to this knob, and I get a B, which corresponds to this knob. Now currently notice that it's reading for only channel one. But I can switch those cursors between whatever channels I want. All I have to do is I just have to hit B, the cursor turns blue, and it tells me the value for each time increment. So here, I'm gonna compare what is the difference between zero seconds, what is the voltage measurement here, and it's reading negative uh, 900 millivolts about, and 30 microseconds, which is reading 900 millivolts. It's giving me the delta T, the, del the difference in time, and the delta V. So that is the difference between the two. I can move that a little forward and check the delta T and delta V between any two points. That's an additional functionality that will help you uh, make measurements here easily.